Hey Huns, I know it's been a hot little minute, so that's why I decided to jump on here today and just do a chit chat, get ready with me where I just sit here. Literally, I know you're going to see that it's a whole different background and a whole different setup from what we're used to, but um, I wanted to just get some content out there and catch up with you Huns, so I decided to just literally sit at my counter do my makeup and catch up with you guys on what's been going on since I've had the baby. Um, if you hear her in the background, then you just know this is my life right now. But um, yeah, let's just get right into it. My baby is officially two months old. It's been two months. I can't believe. I, oh my gosh. Like I literally can't believe it's been two months since I had this baby. But she is such a blessing. She's such a beauty. Um, she's such a good baby. She is totally different from my son. When I tell you guys they are the complete opposite. They are the complete opposite. And if you're wondering. I primed my face already. Today I used the... Uh, milk makeup hydro grip primer base um i believe i mentioned this before i had her but i've been loving this primer the days when i did try it um like you know throughout the pregnancy i really wasn't doing my makeup and since i've had her literally i haven't really been dibbling dabbling my makeup so on top of catching up i'm going to show you guys some new goodies that i'm going to get into or that eventually on another video that i'm going to try out but it's just literally stuff that either has been gifted to me or i purchased it months ago like when i was still pregnant and i have not had a chance to get my hands on it and dabble in it so yeah but the brow products are still the same. I am going to use my Sephora waterproof brow pencil to do my brows. So back to her and my son. They are, when I tell you, complete opposite. Complete opposite. Um, my son, he was a real chill baby. Not that Anaya isn't. By the way, I haven't done a formal introduction to the new baby so for you huns that are just catching up i did have a baby it was a baby girl we didn't know remember we were waiting it's a baby girl and her name is anaya grace so miss anaya grace is the total opposite of her brother meaning it's not that she's um uh, bad baby but she requires more attention than him and from what I can remember um with Gregory he was like first night home wanted to sleep all night like he wasn't really hard to sleep train because he loved sleep like he wanted to sleep and not that Anaya doesn't because she likes to sleep but she likes to sleep in the daytime and nighttime the most we have gotten out of Sister Girl has been like four and a half, five hours. And then she's waking up after that every three hours to eat. So, we trying to get Sister Girl to sleep. I need her to give me eight hours, especially before I go back to work. Which I am dreading, but that's a whole nother story and a whole nother update. But yes, Miss Anaya Grace, I'm not sure if you guys can hear her. She's whining right now. She's in the room with Daddy. But... Um, yeah, she has been such a blessing, such a bundle of joy. So, literally, waiting to have her, as far as, like, the age difference between her and my son, it is an eight and a half year difference, almost nine year difference. It's literally more than eight and a half years, because he'll be nine in December. Um, so, I have a, ship. yeah, he'll be nine in December, so... Um, do I love that I waited? Yes. Was it a shocker for me? Like getting back into the groove of things? Heck yes. Yeah. When I tell you, it was a lot. <laughs> like I thought I would be prepared. Like, you know, you think, hey, I'm not new to this. I did this rodeo before. It went well. It went great. 
I'm a mom. I got this. In some areas, yes. But for me, I think my biggest thing was because it's a girl and it wasn't a boy. Some things, you know, girls and boy babies are totally different. So, like, if you didn't know, um, girl babies, when they are born, they... I don't want to call it discharge, but basically they go through a phase where they are... It's stuff coming out of their private part, and this is like TMI, but it's stuff that's coming out of their private part, which is the mom's hormones. And when I tell you I freaked out, luckily it happened, um, when it first happened, I want to say it happened at the hospital, and so... I was so grateful that it happened when a doctor was there. So, because I was like, what the heck is this? Like, what is going on? I was like, I, I'm not ready for this. I, I don't know what this is. To somebody help me, please. Um, but they explained to me that it was totally normal. So, it's stuff like that. Like, stuff that she'll go through as a baby and being a girl that I did not have to deal with when I had my son. Case in point changing a poop diaper oh my gosh uh, my baby has rolls which isn't different because when Gregory was a baby he had rolls too he was a little chunky baby when she came out she wasn't chunky though she was six pounds but now she's chunky so she got rolls in her legs and when I tell you she has so many cracks and crevices so you got to make sure that you get in there because one, she's a girl. So you don't want, you know, her to get an infection or anything. So you got to make sure you get everything out. Boys, that's super easy. You just lift it up, clean under their, you know, private part and you're good to go and clean her. But girls, because it's so many parts, so to speak, you got to really get in there. So her diaper changes. Uh, take a lot longer than what Gregory's did but this entire process when I tell you has been one a learning experience for me two I'm actually learning a lot about myself in the process I'm actually using this Kat Von D I forgot where I got this I think I got like a Sephora perk but I always wanted to try it it's the locket setting powder in translucent I'm, I'm going to use that to set my brows. So, I've been learning a lot. Anaya, she, she doesn't know it, but she's been teaching me a lot about myself. And it's been an adjustment. It's, can't even lie, it's been an adjustment. Um, yeah, it's just been an adjustment. And thank God for my support system, because Lord knows my husband has been such a support. Shout out to him. Um, but this, this go round I don't know I think like going into it especially how I planned it because we have family over and stuff I the way I planned it I think I thought that I, I could be superwoman and that I could do it all and little did I know life don't work out like that but leave it to life to you know teach you about yourself um but yeah like I don't want to say Thank God that I didn't get like, um, what do you call it? Postpartum depression. At least I don't think I did. But, um, well, I know I didn't as far as looking at the symptoms. But I will say it has been times that I did not feel like myself. Like sometimes I still don't feel like myself because you guys know I love everything. Glitz, glam, makeup, everything. I love it. And I haven't been able to dabble into that. I haven't been able to record like I want to. Like, I legit had this whole plan um, saying that, oh, yeah, you know, while she slept or while the baby slept, because, you know, back then we didn't know what we were having, I'm going to record. And, you know, because those babies don't need that much attention, they literally eat, sleep, and poop, I'm going to record. And, yeah, no, that's not how this goes, because little mama does not like, to um take naps in her bassinet well she does sometimes but most of the time she wants to be held and then you know if her tummy hurts from gas she definitely wants to be held during her nap and if you lay her down too early she's gonna wake up so it's been 
a lot, needless to say. And I haven't gotten to the swing of things where I can be like, okay, yeah, for sure at this time I can record, I can do this, I can do that. It's just like, no. Like, literally, I call her my boss. <laughs> and when people call and they're like, oh, like, my mom's like, oh, could you do this? Or if my friends call and they're just like, oh, I called you and did it. I'm just like, look, the boss did not allow me to do this because literally I am on her time to put it point blank period. So any moms out there that, you know, this is your second child and you waited just as long as me to have your second child. I would say prep and prepare yourself to know. And even first time moms, I can't even say just for second time moms, but being a mom in general, just prep yourself. Don't think that you could be superwoman. Like plan for the what ifs. Like what if your baby don't want to sleep? What if your baby is colicky? What if your baby is gassy? What if your baby needs extra attention and your baby is not a baby that likes to sleep and um, let you do work around the house, <laughs> plan for that, and it's just like, you can't, like, literally my, do I want to say mantra, mantra, literally what I have been telling myself, and Greg laughs at me, literally, I'm just like, look, small victories, the day that I literally, that he comes home from work, and I don't have a scarf on my head, and I've taken a shower, and I look good, and I've moisturized my skin, I feel good and he's just like oh like I'm like I'm getting a little bit back to my normal and I'm just like you know I may not have on makeup but I was able to moisturize my skin and do something to my hair and not have on a shirt that has spit up on it small victories that's a victory for me today and it's like a lot of people are, like literally when I go to my doctor's appointments um because you know well, if you don't know, I had a C-section, so I had to go back to make sure the stitching and everything was good, and we had to take her to her doctor's appointments. And every time I went, they're just like, oh my gosh, you look so good to say, you know, it's only been six weeks or this amount of weeks that you've had the baby. You look good. You look great. And I'm just like, look, I'm barely making it. I'm holding on. Little do y'all know. <laughs> literally, and that's the God honest truth. It's just like, I, I've literally learn to take it day by day i feel like i am my worst critic and i'm the hardest on myself so i'm just like come on girl you're supposed to snap back into it you're supposed to already be back to the gym you're supposed to be doing this like you know because not gonna lie and i know it's so cliche to say but you know social media have you thinking you know after you have a baby you just snap back like I'm supposed to be in heels and I'm supposed to have a full beat face and I'm supposed to be back on the go 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 and reality is that is not it. If you're not a millionaire or got thousands of dollars where you can have a nanny to follow you around everywhere to take care of your child while you do yourself, then that's not your reality. Your reality is it takes time. And even with those people, I'm pretty sure emotionally, they had their own battles that they had to go through. So that ain't my reality. <laughs> and let's just leave it at that. So before I get into the eyes, I wanted to share some stuff. The stuff that I got, I got the Sephora bag here to share with you. So the first thing that I am going to try, and I'm not going to try it on my face, but it is just something that I wanted to get into, is this brand called Monet. And my best friend actually sells it. She's a part of the company. And they have, it's, it originally started as a hair care line. And now they have started to dabble into skincare. So the skincare is what I was really, really interested in. And then because I purchased something from the skincare, um, it came with a sample of something from the hair care line. So this is a CC cream. It's a leave-in hair perfecter. And it says only for you by Monet. So, um... Oh, this still has the plastic on it. Let me open it up and smell it. I like smelling stuff. Oh, it smells really good. It smells fresh. So I'm going to try that. And then what I got from the skincare line is this Monet Berry Refined Scrubs. It's a perfecting exfoliator mask. This is what I wanted to try. I do have... Um, combination oily skin and then my skin is sensitive 
but I do exfoliate on the regular. It is important to exfoliate your skin. Not as much. I normally do it max twice a week. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to, this is the the one thing that I really, really wanted to try. I don't know if you guys can hear Anaya. She is like cutting up for her daddy in there. The day that, you know, we should decide to record, um, she decides to cut up. But that's fine. That comes with territory. She'll be fine. She's with daddy. So it comes with this. I'm assuming it's to close it when I open it and a little thing to do it. And this is very, very cute packaging. Comes like this. And it's sealed. I'm not going to open it as of yet. But I am super excited to try this. This is really what I wanted to. And I, to be honest, I really, really needed to exfoliate my skin. And so you know I love you, love you huns so much that I didn't open this before this video. Because, and I've had this for about a week now. If not more. And, um... I really, really wanted to use it, but I was just like, no, can't use it. I want to open it up with you guys and let you guys know about that. So, on top of that, um, other little stuff that I brought, this was a Beauty Smart, the makeup headband. So, I can pull it right now. I just have a regular hair headband, but a makeup headband to pull my hair back. Um, another thing that um, I wanted to try and I ended up purchasing is from B. Simone, so the, I don't know if you guys have seen her, well, I'm pretty sure you've seen her, the Instagram comedian B. Simone, who says, um, what, what's her line? Um, do you want to be my boyfriend or a baby boy? That, that B. Simone, so she has her own makeup line where she started with her gloss and this came in this cute little packaging it says be simone beauty thank you for purchasing be simone beauty i hope you enjoy your purchase tag us in your post with be simone beauty on instagram for the chance to be featured on our page and it has her face on it and if you guys know her lip gloss is always popping on her lips and she wears her own lip gloss so i purchased two two of those and this can't when I tell you this stuff I purchased a while back like literally a while back and I'm just now opening up these things so it comes in this packaging so I did a clear one and this one is called diamond um, let me smell it and swatch it for you guys doesn't really have a smell to it but it's literally a clear gloss and then the next one that I purchased is called You're My Boyfriend, which is her signature of how she got, you know, Insta famous. And it's a nice nude color, you guys know. I keep it in the nude family. It's either a peachy nude or a pink nude. This is more of a um, peachy nude. And it seems like it has a nice consistency. I just wonder if it's sticky. But these are the two here. So this is the You're My Boyfriend. And then as you can see, it looks like gel on my hand. But this is just the clear gloss. So those are two that I want to try. And you know, a girl got to have some type of gloss somewhere or another. So can't have enough gloss. Then um, from Juvia's Place, I did the Saharan Blush Palette because literally the only brush palette that I have is the Anastasia one that you guys always see me use. So I said, hey, why not? Let's uh, add some variety to it. So it's the Sahar the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 in these colors, baby boy. Look at this. These are pretty nice. Can't wait to get in these for the fall. I'm not going to swatch all these. Um... Only because I'm pretty sure you can find them videos on them. Because like I said, this is old stuff. This is not like new premiere stuff. Um, I just literally had this stuff for a long time. And I didn't dabble into it because again, I was emo. I was emotional. <laughs> the other thing that I purchased from Juvia's Place is the Tribe by Juvia. And I believe this is the eyeshadow palette. And I thought this was some colors that I didn't have. Yep. 
and it was actually the greens that got me here so these are like greens and blues so I thought this was nice and you guys know I love the Juvia's Place pants because look how much eyeshadow you get and they are always having some type of sale some type of discount so hey you're not paying full price a sale is always good for me I don't think I'm gonna put that back in the box we made that one into that one not sure yet um the other things that I purchased from Juvia's Place was the foundation brush um, which feels very nice and dense. Can't wait to use this. So with the foundation brush, I'll add that to my brushes. And also I did the foundation and concealer. And I know you guys have probably seen a million and one reviews on this online. So I don't even have to swatch this. But in the, I will say, re-review somebody that is your skin tone on Instagram or on um, YouTube see what color shade they are because that's what I did because my local Ulta did not sell these here in Charlotte and then I had to order them online and then of course you know there's no returns and it's not like um, you can try it on so I got Dakar in the foundation and in the concealer I got number nine i think this is number nine or number six let me see yeah magic concealer number nine so got these two can't wait to try those out those were the only two things that i brought from juvia's place um from target i got some sonia kashik sponge can never have enough beauty sponges which i'm gonna use one today when i put on my foundation and then um I did get a couple of things from Sephora. Um, I don't believe I shared these things with you guys. So I'm going to share really quickly so we're not rambling and we can get into this makeup and get back to where I've been in life. Because, hey, I've been in my A. Not even going to lie, the girl's been in my A. So really quickly, let me get into the rest of the stuff that I got. So you guys saw... Um, in the baby shower where I was showing the gifts, I got the Alyssa Edwards palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is Gorge. When I tell you it is gorgeous, it is gorgeous. And I can't, I can't believe it. As much as I drooled over these two Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, I am shocked. When I tell you shook, shocked that I didn't open them and use them. And do anything with them. I'm just shocked that my entire pregnancy I didn't really wear makeup. But hey, that's neither here nor there. We can't go back. We can just move forward. So these are the shades there. This is like a little fun palette. And I love it. was this cobalt blue in the pinks that drew me to this one. Now, honey. Honey, honey, honey. This next palette. I had to, I had to, when I tell you I had to, I had to support, had to, could not let it go by without supporting it, and it was the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina, I love Jackie, oh, Jackie, 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 that is her intro to every video, I love Jackie, she is an inspiration, and I had to support the girl, so this is her palette, and it, it's beautiful, um, the colors are coming up a little because of my lighting. The lighting isn't doing the colors any justice, but this palette, I'm pretty sure you guys seen it all over IG, all over YouTube, but this palette is gorgeous. So that's something else that I added to the collection. And then really quickly, um, let's get into... Um, some stuff that I purchased from Sephora, Morphe, Sephora, Ulta. Uh, let me just grab it. So I got this Urban Decay Pencil in Chaos. It was blue. It's a pretty, pretty like cobalt blue um, eyeliner, which I just added it to the collection. Um, I got another eyeliner, and this is the Pat McGrath Labs um, eyeliner in Black Coffee. Which is a brown liner. Then I got another. I went Pat McGrath crazy. 
This is a Pat McGrath Lab Flesh Fantasy Lip Gloss. Another, this is more of a pinky lip gloss. I'll show you guys this one. And I've actually worn this lip gloss. Um, this is one that I wore and it was nice. That is it right here. This is it right here. You can barely see it, but I love it. This is um, one of the lip sticks that I brought from Pat McGrath. And this one I actually wore to my baby shower and it's called Peep Show. Super, super nice nude. And that is it on the end. It looks pretty scary, but once you have it with the brown liner, you pair it with a brown liner, it looks really, really nice. And then this is another Pat McGrath mini um, that I got, and it comes with three lipsticks. So it comes with Elson, Obsessed, and Full Panic. Um, let me just open this up real quick. Yeah, I know. Pet is extra, got all this extra stuff in here. I don't even know if I could. Okay, it's not opening. We're not gonna try it. We on the roll. Um, these other face products. I got the Giorgio Armani Longwear High Cover Foundation. I got the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer for me to try. I got the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer in Mocha Mommy. And I got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Full Highlighter in Penny For You Thoughts. Got these two. I also did, it's that little section in Sephora, right when you get in the line, the little mini section that always gets me, but I wanted to try her setting powder in Nutmeg, and I actually really, really like this. I tried this before, too. I think I used that when I did the makeup for the baby shower. Um, This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. I tried this, too, for the baby shower. Um... This Morphe lip gloss, I got this from Ulta, and it is in the color Pixie. I heard good things about their lip gloss, so I wanted to try it. This one I have not tried, haven't even swatched it yet. So, I am so, oh, this is pretty. This is going to be a very, very pretty gloss for the fall. It's more of a pinky type nude, but it's like in that brown cocoa family. More of a pink, but it's nice and subtle. This is the gloss right here. So I feel like this is a gloss that I can literally just pop on and go to work. Like I don't even got to try at all, literally. Don't got to try it. And then I got two more brands to show you. So this one is from a black owned business that I follow on Instagram. And it's called the... Light Gold Cosmetics, and it is Loose Pigments, and all of her loose pigments are named um, by his people in history, women in history, which I thought was unique. So I got some loose pigments here to play around with. Um, you guys probably won't see me play around with these pigments anytime soon because they are like bright pink colors and neon colors, but it came in a set of one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are all six. I'm going to try to hold them up for you. And that's how she ships them in the little gold thing. So as you can see, we have a yellow. We have some blues. We have a green. You know, I'm making use of green. We have a gold and an orange. So I'm excited to, you know, challenge myself to work with the loose pigments. And then last but not least, the last brand that I am going to try, I haven't even swatched these yet. Literally, when they came in the mail, I just threw them in the bag um, that I know I was going to do this video on. So, this brand is called Il Maquillage. And this is, um, I brought two lipsticks and a lip pencil from the Carly Bible collab that they did with her. So, yeah. Uh, the lip pencil is waterproof. It's a waterproof lip liner in Luna. Now that I look at this, it may be 
Oh, it's okay. It's literally my skin color. I don't even think you can see that here. Yeah, you can't even see it. It blends in with my skin, but that's the lip liner. And then I did two lipsticks. One is called Venus, and the other one is called Sirius, I think. So Venus is a nice red, and it's so cute because on the lipstick it has like little stars on it. So I'm going to swatch it really quick. Oh, it's super creamy. So this is Venus. Venus is this nice red. Can you see that? This nice red here. And then Sirius is a nude. I'm going to swatch it here on my hand. It's like a pinky nude. My normal. Literally, I promise you, they're all not the same. They're different shades, but that's that color there. So literally, that is all the stuff that I've been holding out for you guys um, that I haven't used while I was pregnant. And yeah, so let's get into this. I'm going to do a really quick look because I literally just wanted to sit down and record with you guys and talk to you guys because I missed you. And that's what I wanted to do. So, I think I want to dabble into the Jackie Ina palette. I think, it's either, I think I either want to do that or the Juvia's Face palette. I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I'm going to do Jackie Ina. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. So... I am going to take a blending brush if I can find one. I'm going to take this blending brush, which is my Morphe one, and I'm going to take credit, which is this brown. It's the brown one in the palette here, and I am just going to make that my transition color. And as you guys know, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows are super pigmented. Super, super pigmented, so you're going to get a little bit of fallout, but you guys know I don't care about that. So, I'm going to make credit my transition color. And again, I'm doing a quick, simple look. Cause I just wanted to talk to you guys but back to what I was saying about my experience having my daughter so if we want to go to labor and delivery um, I ended up having a c-section because she did not come on her own which you know going into it I was just like oh been through you guys heard me say it before oh I've been through a c-section before so I know what to expect, whatever. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but I can get through it. Honey, when I tell you and they tell you, you forget about the amount of pain that you're in because, you know, you're so happy that the baby's nice and healthy and, you know, that you have your baby, which is true because Lord knows I didn't remember that pain. But, honey, when they were done and that pain hit, I was like, Oh my gosh, why didn't <laughs> I remember and why did I decide to do this all over again? But then when I look at the little girl's face, I'm just like, that is why. That is why because that is my bundle of joys. Like when I tell y'all I am mush when it comes to this little girl, I am like putty in her hand. I don't like to hear her cry. I don't want to put her down. I don't want to leave her. Like I know my first day going back to work is going to be hell because and let me not speak that hopefully it is not hell but I know I'm gonna miss her like crazy um but luckily you know I have family that's watching her um when I go back to work when I first initially go back to work so I mean she's in good hands but still I know I'm gonna miss her like crazy but yeah so the pain was crazy 
But of course, still me being Nikki, I wanted to push myself. But luckily, me pushing myself, at least I was still smart enough and I listened to the doctors. I didn't push myself too much where it set me back. I healed properly. But I did like, was like, oh, I need to walk around or I need to do this. I need to do that. But that pain, honey, is no joke. Like, I'm convinced. And like, I, I know I was joking around during the pregnancy and I was like, oh, I want her to come. Like, I want to go into labor, like, now. I want to go into labor right now. And luckily, like, if I'm being quite honest, during... So, during a C-section, if you don't know, you're up. You're awake. You just can't feel anything from the waist down, but you are up. So, me, I'm a naturally talkative person. I'm going to talk. So, while the doctors are doing their thing, I have my doctor and I have my midwife. I'm talking to both of them. Well, they're talking to each other while they got me open trying to get to the baby. And I'm just listening. And I did request um, that I had the clear screen. So a portion of my C-section, I actually got to see them pull her out because they dropped the blue the blue screen. Then it was a clear screen. And I got to see them pull her out of me. Um, so I'm asking the questions. And my midwife honestly told me. She's just like, I'm so glad this baby didn't come on her own. She's just like, I'm glad that you ended up having a C-section. And I'm, you know, when you cut open on the table and you hear your doctor say that, you're just like, well, what the heck's going on? What do you see? Like, let me know, honey, what is going on? And she was just telling me, I guess my uterine wall was thin. So she was saying if the baby did and had come on her own, it would have been a rough delivery for me. Not necessarily for the baby Well. I guess intern the baby too, but she just said it would have been a rough delivery. So, with that being said, I always say God knows all and God sees all, and that's why you know He'll listen to our crazy self and He does what's best for us, even if we don't think it's the best situation at that moment. He knows all, He sees all, and that is why He does what He does, and that's why He's the real MVP because Lord knows. I'm just glad I had a healthy surgery, healthy baby, me and baby were healthy and good, and I was happy with that. So we have put credit as our transition color. I've blended that really well. And I think now I want to go, I want to do wigglies. I'm going to do wigglies, but I want to know, do I want to do I'm going to do wigglies. I said I wanted to keep it simple, so we're going to keep it simple and cute. So I am going to get a flat. This one's not clean. That one's not clean. And on top of that, y'all, I need to clean my brushes. All right. So I have another Morphe brush. This doesn't have a number or a name on it. So we are going to go into wigglies. And that is this nice red color here. It's more like a burgundy. But hey, whatever. Do you know what? This is what happens when you give me too many options. Cause now I'm looking at Wigglies and I want to use Wigglies, but then I'm just like, ooh, like we could do a green. Like I can get into this, you know, green color. No, nope. I ain't gonna be complicated. I'ma just stick to Wigglies and call it a day. So yeah, so God knows all. She came out. Perfectly fine, as you can hear her hollering. And that's just probably because she wants me. <laughs> she is very picky. So sometimes she wants daddy, sometimes she wants mommy. And she is going to express that. So little, little do we know, our little Leo is already very opinionated and expresses what she wants. I call her my little diva. So yeah, delivery went well. Delivery went very well. We had no complications. It was just the healing part. And I tell anybody, like I'm not even gonna lie, like I got it all together and like I have all the answers because I don't. Um, I just tell people I'm literally taking it day by day. Do y'all see this color? Like it's coming up and it's looking orange, but it's like a nice red color. Um, but yeah, like I'm literally taking it honestly day by day. I'm getting to feel back to normal. 
some days are better than others. Um, and Lord knows, yeah, I keep my husband in prayer because I probably drive that man crazy and he just don't want to tell me. But, hey, I guess that's what husbands are for, right? I'm going to take the same brush that I had credit and go back into credit and blend out so they can blend in together seamlessly. So, yeah, um, some days are better than others, but ultimately I am enjoying it. I can't even lie. Like, even though I'm not able to put on a face of makeup or sit down and record anytime that I want to because I'm on her schedule, I'm learning to... One, try to get things done when I can. And if I get them done, I get them done. If I don't, I don't. Like, that's where I'm at at this point. It's just like, like I said, small victories. Can I get it done today? Did I get it done today? If I did get it done today, great. I had a good day. We had a good day because I got more than what I thought I could get done. And like, literally, now my to-do list, I just write a full list. I don't even write the days uh, on a day that I need to get it done unless like it has a due date like something I have to do for AJ but other than that it's just like okay if I get this done on this day I get it done if I don't get it done I get it done like literally I can prime example start laundry I started laundry on Friday right today is Wednesday all the clothes got washed asked me have they gotten folded and put up no because I haven't had the time but guess what? We gonna live. <laughs> My family got clean clothes. That's all that matters. And I'm going to attempt to fold them tomorrow. If I get it done, I get it done. If I don't, hey, we live to see another day if I can get the laundry done. <laughs> but, yeah. And, like I said, my husband has been a huge help. Like, the only reason why he don't touch the laundry because I'm a stickler when it comes to the laundry. Like, I like my clothes folded a certain way. I like everybody's clothes hung up a certain way. I'm like, don't touch it. I got it. But other than that, like, literally, um, we're having fun with it. Like, I am loving, learning to love this new form of motherhood. That I am going through on top of, oh, did I mention that I am exclusively breastfeeding? So she is not on any formula whatsoever. So mama's a walking cow, basically. <laughs> I'm nursing. So that's a whole nother thing within itself. And I'm just learning to honestly love, oh, that came out nice. I'm learning to love the process. And learning to love myself on top of, hey, this new mom bod that I got. Learning to love that too. And I think we're going to leave the eyes alone for now. So, yeah, like I'm literally just learning to love the process that I'm going through. And I'm literally not complaining, taking it day by day. It is what it is. Like literally... It is what it is. I'm going to hop into this Giorgio Armani foundation that's right here in front of me. Just because, hey, it's right here in front of me. And I don't got to bend down to get nothing else. The color that I thought I am, or I think when I ordered this on Sephora, I put in a foundation that I already have. And then this, they said this is the best match for me. It is 11.75. So, yeah. I am going to try this foundation and see where it goes. It says long wear high cover foundation. Yep. And why did I want to try this one? I forgot why. I forgot if it's this one or another one. That was like a no transfer. But, you know, people raved about it. And look, I got all these swatches on here, so... I'm going to now put the foundation here. I wanted to pump it on my hand because, you know, when you try new foundations, you don't know how thick it's going to be, how thick it's not going to be, you know. And let's see what this new Juvia's Place um, foundation brush is talking about. Let's try that. So I'm going to use this MAC 190 brush to 
distribute it over my face and I can already tell this is probably too light for me and we're gonna have to make it work I'm gonna have to blend it with something else and guess what because I brought it so long ago I don't know if Sephora is gonna take it back I have no clue but we're gonna see we are going to see Oh, yeah, this is definitely not my color anymore. Like, and I got darker, so I don't know. Hopefully, we'll cut it the winter time. Oh, this is definitely too light, and I look super ashy. Ugh. So, this is gonna have to be a foundation that I mix with another one because I can tell you right now, it is not gonna work. Look at that. I look like a ghost. That's what I get for trying something new. I should have stuck to what I knew. So I'm going to take my NARS Velvet Matte Skin Foundation. And mix that. And I'm literally going to have to mix this. Hopefully I have a foundation that's too dark somewhere. And I'm going to have to mix that foundation with it. I'm going to have to make it work gonna have to make it work and yep let's see this is more like my color more orangey uh, what else is new oh AJ started black football so that's something else new on top of you know being a new mom of course I haven't wanted to miss any of his practices or his games i think so far me and anaya only missed one practice and that was literally not by our choice it was because um what happened the news that day because it was so hot they put out a air warning to say the air um the air quality wasn't at its best, so I was not going to take her out in those conditions. And I still feel like I look ashy. Which I probably do. Ugh. Yeah. That Giorgio Armani messed me up. Let's see if we can fix this. I'm going to have to find a way to fix it. But, yeah, so that's the one day that we did not go. But all of his games, that's the one practice we didn't go to. But all of his games, we have been there cheering him on. And he's loving it. He has been doing so well. And I'm actually glad he likes it. Alright. I know I look kind of crazy. I look kind of cray-cray. Um, but we're going to try to fix this thing. We are, we got to fix it because, yeah, we just have to. I don't want to go super light. So I'm going to use this, which is the Too Faced Concealer in Toffee. And I'm going to highlight with this. And then what I'm going to do to make this look... <laughs> okay is i'm gonna bronze like crazy to bring color back to my face color because that giorgio armani is not hitting it at all i didn't open this oh, that sucks. you see it's the mom brain on top of it's almost feeding time again so the girl has to be very smart with the time. Um, so yeah, so it's good that this gets to sit on my face for a little while. And I am going to take my, what is this? My Olay Mist in Calming, which is aloe leaf and chamomile extracts. And I'm going to wet my Sonia Kashuk sponge. Ooh, yes, that is making that wet just the way I need it. 
and I am going to blend this bottom one out and the top one first. And you know what I should have did? I should have bronzed already, but we gonna make it work. We are going to make it work for us. And if I have any moms that watch my channel, let me know if you guys have any tricks on how you do your makeup any faster because that's another thing that I have to master is getting a, my face done but in a timely manner where you know it's not taking me 30 minutes anymore I need to cut that 30 minutes if I could cut it down to 15 to 20 minutes instead of 30 to 45 I would be happy only because, you know, some mornings you just don't know. You don't know. And then, like, prime example, we had a doctor's appointment. Got an eye all dolled up, dressed up, ready to go walk out of the house. What does my lovely daughter do? The moment I was ready to walk out the house and we we're almost late to our appointment, my baby poops. So, what did I have to do? Undress her, change her diaper. And get her all the way together. So, with that being said, I got fine ways to, you know, if stuff like that happens and my makeup is the last thing that I have to do, um, you know, it's not a diet. Like, I don't need 45 minutes, almost an hour. I can just get it all done in a timely manner. Alright, we looking like something now because what we was looking like before was not working for me at all. Like not even a little bit. And I'm just taking a more defined brush that I normally do to contour over there. Even though I really wasn't trying to contour, I was just trying to bronze it up. But just to blend that in to look a little more seamless. But yeah, so those are the new things that I'm trying to tackle in my life. Which is um, get stuff done faster, get my makeup done faster. You know, just get my whole life together because, honey, I want to get back to normal. I want to get back to, you know, making bomb content for you guys. But on top of my one and most important priority, which is my kids. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm being present for them. What? Well, also, you know, still feeling like myself. So, that is the task. So, just keep me in your prayers because, you know, it's just girls trying to live a little normal. Um, trying to get back to myself. Literally. Um, so, yeah, that's literally what I've been doing, catching up, but just ultimately being a mom, getting my life together, um, trying to get situated to this new life of one, one kid having a whole bunch of activities to do, not a whole bunch, but having, you know, extracurricular activities, and then one who needs that extra attention. And love and affection because, you know, she's my little, my little princess, like I like to call her. My little buttercup. I call her my little buttercup. I call her my sugar plum. All these little weird names. It depends on the day and how cute and chunky she looks, but. Yeah, she's my little buttercup, my little sugar plum. 
and I love her so much guys like one day um if she acting right <laughs> I'll bring her on here um but again that's if she's acting right so I'm gonna spray my face with my Caudalie spray so I don't look as powdery as I look right now because I still look kind of crazy a lot so yeah one day I'm gonna introduce you guys to her um if you follow me on Instagram you've already seen pictures of her and if you don't follow me on Instagram what you doing honey get get over there get over there it's just Nikki Antoine you can search that and you'll find me there um but yeah um, just getting back to normal with my little one and I can't wait oh my gosh I can't wait till she get to the age where you know I can do manis and petties with her and you know now I've been going bow crazy finding bows and I'm looking for matching outfits and you know fun mommy stuff like that because that's what I like <laughs> I mean, this is what I have been waiting for, just to have a little girl so I can do that. Like, play dress up and do little fun stuff like that. Like, that's that's what I've wanted for the longest. And I finally get to do that. Like, I finally get to, you know, have a little mini me. And world, watch out. That's all I can say. <laughs> So, literally, I don't think I'm going to put any lashes on. I'm just going to put on some mascara. Because, like I said, it's feeding time for my little one. Well, almost feeding time for my little one. So, I got to get the ball rolling. But I really like how this look came out. And I'm pretty sure it just took me long because I am... Um, talking but you know if this makeup well this eye look was super simple I only used two shadows so I'm pretty sure that'll cut down time if I really needed it to and yeah I think what I'm going to do is pop on one of these glosses. Let's try the Morphe Pixie one. Right now, I don't have on gloss. I have on um, a lip mask, like chapstick. But because I'm going to put on gloss, I'm going to just leave it on there. And, yep, this works. And look, what I love about this is... The girl didn't even have to put on no liner. This is what I'm talking about. Cut down on the time. And still looking cute. That is the goal. That's my new goal. Cutting down time and looking cute in the process. This is a go-to. This pixie, I say get it. If you just want to be able to put on gloss and not have to do nothing else. Pixie is where it's at. So, I'm not going to take this headband off because, in all honesty, hey, I'm, I'm about this honesty reality. I didn't secure this wig, secure the lace. I literally threw this wig on for the video. So, we're going to keep this headband on so we're not looking crazy out here in these streets. But, guys, this is it. I think it came out pretty good. Considering, you know, we had a oopsie daisy with this Giorgio Armani, but we made it work. It don't look too crazy. And thanks for NARS for saving the day. I want to see, I mean, even though it's been a while, like it's been some months, but I wonder if Sephora will still exchange it for me. Because it's not like I want to return it. It was, it felt good. I just want to change the color. If I can't change the color, I'll find a color to mix it with and we'll make it work. But hey, doesn't hurt to try. But Huns, yes, I just want to update you guys on that. Um, I'll be coming back and trying to record some more videos. Um, 
more consistently. But like I said, I have a new boss. And that boss is just so bossy. I'm a little bossy little princess. But um, I am finding out ways and finding being smart about it. And being, st being smart and strategic with my time where I can get the things done that I need to get done. Um, maybe not on a certain day, but... You know try to get things done and i'm gonna at least try to record a video at least once a week just so i can start the content the content back rolling and then at that point you know then we'll come up with some schedule as she gets older you know she's more independent then at that point i can record more and do more things and you know put out more mommy content for you huns but until then we are working on little miss anaya's time and that is all the time she is granting us today because it is time to eat and almost time for bed so yeah um i'll try to record another video that's talking about all about anaya what we're doing what we're about to do with her and it'll probably be an intro video introducing you guys to my little one and what we're doing because i think we're gonna start sleep training real soon so we can start getting you know longer hours with her especially since i'm about to go to work and then at that point she'll be transitioning to someone else taking care of her not me throughout the daytime while i'm at work so you know we want that transition transition to be a smooth one so yeah you guys will be on that journey with us and yeah on this new journey with me being a mom of two which i don't get me wrong like even though i'm being very transparent with you huns and then you huns know all of the ups and downs and the highs and lows that i've been going through at the end of the day this process has been a beautiful one and i am so very grateful that god chose me to be the mother of my two lovely children and i just can't wait to see them grow up and be you know the people that god called them to be and I just can't wait. I'm so extremely happy. And thank you, Hans, for sticking with me. And until next time, Hans, love ya. Hey, Hans, it is finally here. I am doing my first giveaway and I am super excited. For details and reference to this giveaway, head over to my Instagram page for all the rules and details on what I'm giving away. Good luck. <laughs>